the ground. My ancestor put me on game. Long charm on gold chains. With my whole shoe in the jail. Drip fall on me. Uncle, I don't she keep free. Hold on, don't I smell like such a non-chopper instant. Yeah, yeah, ice, ice, ice. Hey, hey, y'all, we back. We back. Don't y'all love this musical chairs we are doing up in here? Don't you love it? We're jumping from one screen to the next screen, one class to the next class. That's all right. We having fun today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are not on the last one, this is the second in a four-part series today, celebrating Juneteenth and celebrating heritage. That's what we're doing today. And we just finished talking to Orion Wonder. She showed us how to make these amazing wire wrapped rings amazing okay you're gonna have to check that replay out it's gonna come um in the next couple of days you'll be able to see that now today though i let me let me tell you who i am i'm karen baxter ms creative ceo i am an empowerment coach a mindset mentor and a craft business bestie i am a michael's national instructor i've been here several times with michael's love them they love me i love them and i love the fact that we are all about celebrating everybody's differences and they're all the same, right? We're all, so today we are talking about, you know, amazing products made by amazing black women in the community, in the craft community. And the next one that we have up is Miss Shalyn Cullen. I am super excited about having her. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> doing <laughs> i'm good how are you listen we are blinging out are we not hey. we are blinging out we got to give shout out to gwen wilson of bling inspirations because Absolutely. she keeps us Absolutely. all shiny she keeps us <laughs> shiny right so real quick we're gonna learn a little bit about you before we get into your project okay tell us a little bit about you and what we're going to be learning today okay so my name is shalyn cullen um, I am the owner and CEO curator at Soul Beads and Bling. Um, it is a business that I operate with my daughter, my teenage daughter, who unfortunately has to work today. So she's being adultish. She's 18. She's had to do that adult thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, so we operate this business. We've been operating for almost two years. Um, I've gotten to crafting um, early on. Um, I'm one of those moms that I always like to customize my kids clothes but just you know I come from sewers or seamstress should I say mm -hmm. um my grandmother and my mother they they sewed everything curtains cushions I think we changed I thought it was changing furniture it was just changing the pattern on the furniture yeah. my mother made clothes my grandmother made clothes um I didn't go that was not my ministry mm -hmm. but um that crafting gene is in me yeah I, I can tell listen I know I I have been the recipient of things <laughs> you know my daughter my daughter took my mug my tumbler <laughs> so so I do yes and it's just that good, good that the kids yes. want to take it from you yes. and, then, yes. and then look at me like i did something wrong exactly so you should have got two i that, yeah two I, two. next time i'm at the store i will definitely <laughs> pick yes. up another one i love it i love it so it's you and your daughter isn't that beautiful you guys that um, mother and daughter are able to work together and create, you know, some, some real income while being, you know, together. A lot of time your kids don't want to work with you, but it's that, nice. That is you, right? true. And <laughs> that is very true. Um, she is the bling part of the business. She loves everything bling. She always has put mm -hmm. rhinestones and stickers and extra stuff on. So it's perfectly right up her alley. Um, she is actually heading off to college oh. in the fall. So but how are you going to deal with that? I, I don't know. I know. It, it hasn't hit yet. I, I, I got a driver there. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Right. Um, she's headed to Alabama State University and she does want to do right. some bling there. So we're trying to figure out, you know, will it be mass? Will it be in small doses? But she will be blinging there too for students. That's awesome. So I'm excited about that. 
I'm excited for you. I mean, I'm excited for her too. It'll be a great way for her to be able to help support herself while she's there and then get her business up and running in the early Absolutely. part of her, her college career. Okay, well, let's get to it, girl. It's all about you. We want to know about this sublimation. I know that is like one of the hottest things out there now. And the fact that you can do so much with it is amazing. So it's all about you now, girl. Go ahead. Okay. So sublimation is basically, it's changing a solid substance to a gas substance without going through the liquid process with heat. There are so many different um, items that you can sublimate on. Today, we are going to do a tumbler. And it is an all white tumbler. The sublimation tumblers come in different um, colors. I choose the white. And so what we're going to do is that there's two different types of skinny tumblers. Um, as far as the size, there is your 20 ounce skinny straight and your 20 ounce skinny taper. The way that you can ch check is that the taper fits inside of the, the straight. If you ever want to know, because they look so similar in size, if you ever want to know which one is which, the taper fits right inside of the, the um straight so what we're going to do today is that so I let me it. let me ask this that you're because the the tumbler isn't all the way in frame so they can't see it all so yeah closer to the machine there you go perfect thank you mm -hmm. and so what i do is that i design in um design studio and canva and when I print out the things that you need is you need sublimation paper, you need a sublimation printer, and you need sublimation ink in order to do sublimation. Okay. Printer, paper, ink. Okay. It takes a special ink, it takes a special paper and a special printer. Okay. This particular design I printed out on, um, let me make sure it's in the frame eight and a half by 14 paper. Okay. The size of the actual square that's in here for the straight is 9.3 wide by 8.2 high. 9.3 wide, okay, 8.2 By 8.2 wide, that is the size for your 20 ounce skinny straights. Now, and these are the tumblers that you could get at Michael's, right? You cannot get these at Michael's. Those are not the ones at Michael's. Okay. No, these are not the okay. ones at Michael's. But they are at my listen, they are at Michael's. You just gotta get yes. the right. Let's correct. See. Okay. That is correct. <laughs> you just that gotta get correct. the right sizing. <laughs> that is correct. The ones at Michael's are for the um the cricket um die. Oh yeah. But they are sub they are and they also have a sublimation printer, but it's for that particular product. Mm -hmm. So the ones that I'm using are not at Michael's. Got it. So what you want to do, once you print it out, you want to make sure you cut out all the white, all mm -hmm. the white. You should have nothing but the box that you printed. Okay. So you do you cut right on to the black line or right outside of the black line? Okay. I cut right onto the black line. Okay. Yep. I cut right onto the black line. Once you do that, the other things but that you use while... Let me put this in the frame. Can you see it? Oh, no, it we got to tilt. Yeah, got to tilt that. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Now, there's a question. Why wouldn't that fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet? Because I don't like the spacing on eight and a half by 11. Mm -hmm. You can use eight and a half by 11 um, paper. Wait a minute. Let's have a I moment. Have to... Let's I'm have sorry. a moment for her. Let's have a moment for her nails, though. Hold them up. Ah! <laughs> Talk about creativity. I love them. Okay, I just had to. I just had to. Thank point you. Out. Yes, ahead. you can use eight and a half by eleven paper. Um, I use eight and a half by fourteen and thirteen by nineteen because I try to fit as many things on one piece of paper as I can yeah. when you print. Because ink sublimation is, not cheap. is it, ink and sublimation paper is not cheap. It's not cheap. Right. So on a eight and a half by fourteen. I do, I put it right in the middle. That gives me good border on 13 by 19. I can put two on one, or if it's a mug design, I can do up to four. 
on 13 by 19 and up to three on eight and a half by 14. Okay. So what you want to do is that once you get your tumbler, you put it upside down. This is the opening upside down. You have your design that you have printed out and mirrored. Okay. And when I say mirrored, it's backwards. It may not be backwards. Yeah, it's still backwards for you. It's backwards. Mm -hmm. Because when you print it onto, when you put it adhere to the surface, it's going to come out correctly. Okay. So you put it upside down, the top of it. You put it on its side and you make sure you line it up. Those dimensions that I gave you are the exact measurements. So you have very little, if at all, any overage. Again, that was 9.3 by 8.2. Yeah, I got that 9.3 by 8 by 2. Yes. Two. You, want to, you want to pull this as tight as you can. The key to this is no air. You have to get your heat tape, handy dandy heat tape right here. And what you're gonna do is that you, you just start taping it up all the way down. All of the seams should be taped up. I like that little handy dandy tape machine now. Thank that you, I got that from Amazon. It, it pre-cuts the pieces for you. Oh, wow. So heat tape, it doesn't matter what color. I like the thicker heat tape because it, it, it covers more of a space. Um, there are various different colors and various different thicknesses. You, it doesn't matter. Not only do you take the, the seam, you're gonna take it around the top. Now, I love tape because I don't want air pockets. Okay. Some people don't do this. Some people just put it on in. But okay. I don't, if you have air pockets, you get what they call ghosting. Mm. Well, that's the reason. And that's where your image is curious. faded when you pull it off. Got it. So as I'm doing this, let me tell you about the heating element. You can have a mug press or tumbler press, or you can have what I have, which is a convection oven. Now, all convection ovens are different. So I can only specifically tell you about this for mine, but they're, they're similar. I have an oyster, and the way that you know that this convection oven is either it's gonna say convection oven or is it gonna have a turbo button? Okay. The Can heating you back in frame. Can you put it in oh. frame? Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. The side, the um, temperature that you put it on is 385. Make sure the turbo shutting is on. And because I have a smaller oven, as you guys see, um, a lot of people have the French door one where you can stand the tumblers up. I have to lay mine down. So it's, so it's seven minutes, which I do 3.30. I do 3.30, then I turn it. I wanna make, make as a business person, I'm, I'm paying attention to the time that she's taking to do this. And that is why her product always comes out great, vibrant. Her colors are always vibrant in all her tumblers because she's taking a little extra time to, to put in the energy, which means when she sells them, she will sell them for the proper price because this is time that she's taking, but the result is superior quality. All right, May, remember, remember that. Absolutely. Once you have it all taped up, the next step would be you can either um, and you can either use masking tape to tape it because we want a suction type seal on it when it goes into the oven. Okay. You can use silicone bands. Okay. This is a mug wrap, but they do have tumbler wraps. And that simply just goes together like this to create a seal. I am going to use the sleeve. 
And what you do is that you just put it on. And take a blow dryer. There's no preference. In, you can use a blow dryer you use on your hair. And what happens is. Are you oh, that's wrong? like shrink wrap. Yep. Exactly. Oh, wow. Oh. You just blew my I mind. I never it. knew you could do that. I did not know that you would use that for that. Yep. And you just make sure there's no air. It's all sucked in. Y'all, are y'all as blown away as I am? Because <laughs> I did not know that. Yes. So in my oven, it's only big enough for two. Um, with the thermometer, let me show you that. So because ovens, as we know, when we cook, it, it'll say one temperature, but then it's another. <laughs> Make sure you get a thermometer and you set it right inside. So with this thermometer in there, I can get in two of them evenly. And it's, it says 370, 385 right now. You put this in here, just like this. And then I set my timer for three minutes. Girl, everybody wants you to teach a class. Like where, when, when's the class? <laughs> Actually, I have one scheduled for July 22nd. July 22nd. So y'all drop that link in the chat. Go ahead. I'm sorry. In that class, we will go into way, 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 way more detail. I mean, just so with you just going, I'm going to show you the mug. Okay. This is a sublimated mug. They also come in different colors. Let me show you a different one. This is sublimatable glass. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait to do this one. Does that come in purple? Does that come in purple? It I'm didn't right? come in purple. I didn't girl. see it in purple. Check. <laughs> girl, you already it know. It was in blue. It was in orange. Um, I think it was in yellow. And they come tall as well. So this is an 11 ounce. But I, these want are, it. I want it. I want it. coming to a store near you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know so it, Gwen. It. I want it. <laughs> So the mug is the same way as far as how we wrap it with the differences, we don't use the shrink wrap. So I always, you always want to go upside down. You go upside down so when you put your image on there, it hits the bottom, you know it's on the rim. Ooh, I was going to ask you, why do you do that? But that yeah, makes so you know that makes it's sense. On the rim. And then you just get your heat tape back out and It's the same concept. You just make sure it's centered how you want to center according to your um, according to your handle. Right, Bo? She is smart, smart. She they both says you're smart, smart. <laughs> Any questions while she's doing this that she can answer for you? She's being pretty thorough. And when I, y'all, I cannot emphasis, emphasize this enough. I tape a lot. I do not like ghosting. I do not like wasting products. Right. So for your business, even if it's a hobby, tape your stuff up good. Because although I can repurpose this, I don't want to. <laughs> Th that part <laughs> and you just have a whole bunch of stuff laying around your house that you can't use you can't sell it, that, that's um, it. yeah don't skimp it, it's going to be a lot cheaper to buy more tape than it is to throw away mugs ink paper time all of that stuff so what's the name of the tape dispenser again it is on amazon um it is a it's actually called a heat tape dispenser um, the brand is, I don't know the brand, sorry. Is there a way to get the image all the way to the handle? Yes, there is a template. Um, you can't do that in a press. 
like a mug press, but you can do it in a convection oven. And there is, there are templates out there um, that allow you to put it all the way through. And that just let me know that I'm at my 330 so I can turn it. Um, there are templates, yes. So you can put it under the handle as well. So you just turn it. It's just as simple as just turning it. No rhyme or reason to, you know, which way you turn it, you just turn it and you start your timer again for 3.30. Again, all ovens are different, um, but mine I use for 385 for seven minutes. And so I'm cutting on the mug press. We will be using the, um, the uh, Cricut mug press today. Okay. So I'm letting that end up while these do the last few minutes. So has this been a lucrative business for you to all those that are thinking, how many in here are business owners or thinking about becoming a business owner? Or are you just in it for fun? Let me know in the chat. Okay. It has been, oh, you may answer that. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. It has been very lucrative for me. Um, and I don't do t-shirts. I, I sublimate everything else but t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Um, t-shirts, because you have to get into sizing and it's just, to me, it was more of a hassle than, and not as fun as like, for instance, this is a journal. Mm -hmm. I can sublimate this. Mm -hmm. These are coasters. Um, cutting board. Okay, there you go. Um, it just, it just, uh, t-shirts are not my ministry. Just the sizing. I just want to make, you know, items and put them out there without having to worry about if it's a small, medium, large, extra large, et cetera. Makes sense. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, definitely. And then I can show you a few of some finished pieces while we're waiting. It has a minute left, a minute, two minutes left. Oh, I like that one. The camouflage one. It's so bright. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I was over here too. Rise and shine, repeat, rise and grind, free ish. You know what? Maybe it should be on the other one because of your background. So let me put replace the spotlight. There you go. Yeah. Well, this is the pretty. Juneteenth one. Love it. Love it. Look how vibrant the colors are. Rise, grind, shine, repeat. Listen, they want to see your nails. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> put them things to the side. Let me see your nails. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? Let me tell you, Shalene always, her nails is, are, are always <laughs> on point. Always on point. Love them. Um, Tanya, you can probably go to her website and get it. Can someone drop her link? Soulbeadsandbling.com or soulbeads with a Z.com. It's B, yeah, soulbeads with a B, Z. Do you sell sublimation designs for people who don't have printers? I do. Okay. You just have to contact me. So you guys got her Instagram right there, her website yeah. and her Facebook. So you have three do, definite ways to get to her. I do have a digital download section on my website and it does have some digital paper, but I will also be uploading, um, some tumbler designs like you just the person that just asked me that how about that heat glove where did you get that amazon um michael's also has heat gloves mm -hmm. yeah let's go to michael's and get the heat glove okay yeah michael has heat gloves. <laughs> yeah. you go there but in, i know they just put out some some uh coupons and if you have your rewards you can go and get a little discount on them how about that yeah, I'm excited too to see the tumblers. Just downloaded the Juneteenth file from the site. Awesome, Miss Clark. Yeah, I'm waiting for this to heat up. It hasn't heated up yet. It's getting there. Yes. So it is very hot when it comes out. Mm -hmm. Please be careful and be warm. So I usually have to put on both gloves because I don't like to wait for it to cool down. <laughs> <laughs> and you literally, I take poker, I take this out of the way, anything to break the seal. 
and you just start peeling away. And as I'm doing this, I'm gonna put the mug. So this is the Cricut mug press. You literally hit the button and it heats up and it turns green when it's ready. The mug that I taped up, you put it upside down, you put it in. This opening is for the handle. And you push this down and let it go. It tells you when it's done. Okay, so I gotta take one off because this is not preventing me from. You have to be very careful if you use scissors or if you use anything with a point because you can dig down to your design. And scratch it, okay. And scratch it, yeah. But be very careful. Will you? Will your class show how to sublimate journals? Yes. We will sublimate journals, we will sublimate coasters, this is like crafting asmr you know how you <laughs> just listen watch people eat or watch water or paint dry or whatever it is and it just makes you soothe that that's what this is <laughs> Do you blow out? Um, okay, wait a minute. Hold on. The class. When's your next class again? July twenty second. July twenty second. Um, I was just putting my mug in right side up. Is it better to do it upside down? Um, you can do it actually either way. Look but at that. I, as you notice, I always put things upside down. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my sublimation machine. I'm gonna have <laughs> so that's the I first love one. it. And in my design, I purposely made the crease black. Wow. This digital paper with the Africa on it is from the Creative Brown Girl Hot Wow. Yeah. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. She just dropped the link to the the class in the chat so make sure you click that uh, do you use blowout paper when making mugs in the Cricut mug press no okay um and so <laughs> i use three different type of paper um but no you do not have to okay if you want to it will not hurt it if you do okay but i use three different types of um transfer paper or sublimation paper. I'm gonna make sure I keep it in the frame as I'm pulling this off. Mm -hmm. Just in the chat, if you haven't already signed up for the next class, we have another class at the top of the hour at three o'clock. And that is you're going to learn how to bling shoes, you know, the really beautiful blinged out shoes that you see, you're going to learn how to do that. So make sure that if you haven't already done it, once we hang up here, you run over to the link, go ahead and click the link now and just leave it in it, you know, let it open up so you don't lose it and make sure you stay on this one. And then you can go to the very next class um, at the top of the hour. And Karen, I also, so this is one that is not related, but the colors were so pretty. Oh my goodness. Your 80s baby, you'll like it. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm looking at all the good. Oh my goodness. I remember them days. Daddy, daddy, can you take me up to um, Eckert's? It was the name of the store, Eckert's Drugs, so I could play video games. <laughs> play Pac-Man. <laughs> 
And I also want to say there is a discount code through this weekend for Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. How did you come by so much knowledge of this craft? Research, um, asking questions, taking classes like this. Um, I'm not going to say anything bad about YouTube University, but honestly, that's where I started to get to see exactly what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, I actually started going, joining groups that did sublimation, asking questions, joining their classes. I've paid for classes. It's worth it because it's paid off in the long run. Right. It really, truly has. Right. Um, this mug press has about a minute left. Put the, put the other ones back in the frame so we can just uh, bask in their glory. They are so pretty. Now, why, what do you think makes you stand out from, a, from the crowd? Um, my designs. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of designs that I think we all see all the time. And I try to do something totally opposite of that. Mm -hmm. um, I am very um, picky with my designs, meaning I, I'm very, you know, it has to be right. I don't put it out if it's not right. If it's a little bit faded, it's a little bit that, a little bit this, I don't put it out. Um, just for me, if I would, I always look at it, if I'm buying, when you get tired of seeing the same designs, you create them yourself. You so go. even if you're not a designer, I have, I have been able to put things together. Canva is amazing. Mm -hmm. And it, it can give you some templates to get you started. Um, Design Studio is amazing. The uh, only time I use my Cricut um, designer software is if I'm doing vinyl, mm -hmm. but everything sublimation, um, I use Silhouettes Design. Okay. Um, is it is it hand wash or dishwasher safe? So sublimated sublimated tumblers or uh, mugs can go in the dishwasher. That means it's ready. It beeps at you when it's ready. Okay. <laughs> So one of the things I do want to say about this is that if you do have them close to the, your design close to the handle, it does not hurt to, to put it on the other side and do it again because of this opening right here and how it closes, it just gives it that extra security for a few more seconds. It doesn't have to be anything long. Mm -hmm. Now, know this, the difference, I, I, you know, I'm going to put a little, my stuff in it. Wait a minute, hold on. Is infusible ink sheets the same as sublimation paper? It's different. And that's the infusible ink is strictly for that process. Mm -hmm. And you cannot use infusible ink with sublimation paper. It has to be infusible ink sublimation paper. It's a very distinct difference. Mm -hmm. um, and, and how you know is that it, it, your design won't come off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that um, is actually what Michaels has. They have the infusible ink. They have the sublimation paper for the infusible ink and the printer for that. Mm -hmm. um, the thing I love about sublimation is it's not going to fade. Um, it does not fade. Yeah. No matter yeah. how many times you wash it, no matter how hot the heat is. Look at that. Look at, look at that. That quick. See, it's sublimation, <laughs> I love it, I love it. Um, sublimation, the ink actually becomes a part of the metal or the ceramic. It's not just sitting on top of the mug, it's like a part of it now. That's the process of the solid to the gas. It's infused by the heat. Right. So a lot of sublimation, sublimated things you might see, they always saying 400 for 40 seconds, 400 for 67, 400 is like the typical degree. It needs to be most times that hot to infuse the ink onto the, the substrate. Right. So y'all don't have to worry about, if my customer send it back, is it gonna fade because it fade? Mm. Nope, you don't have to worry about it. The that only thing that are not dishwasher safe is if you use vinyl, rhinestones, pearls, those things need to be hand washed, but everything sublimated. And, and be careful about that too, because some of, some of the sublimated tumblers, people put rhinestones on them. 
so if you see rhinestones it's hand washed if there's nothing but this surface and it, it, this is stainless steel it's it's already cool it's ready to go I'm going to tell you, even Carol says she sees the benefit of that black line. It just makes it so um, more it professional. Pops. Right. It pops. Yeah. It's clean. Crisp. Yeah. It's crisp. It's, it's like, I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. Um, somebody asked for pricing. It says that 80s. How much would you sell that for asking for pricing points? Um, well, first, you have to know your audience. <laughs> okay. I'm but like um. How this is a um, starts at 45. So what I will say on pricing is that what she says, you have to know your audience. You have to understand your labor costs. You have to mm -hmm. understand how much your supply costs, it costs, how much, you know, your ink, your paper, your time, your, all of those things, you have to think about those. So it's not one like I would sell it for $45 and she has a thought process behind that. Why yes. $35? Yes. You know, so it's, that's beyond the scope of this class. Um, however, you can go to my website, misscreativeceo.com. And on Monday, I have a pricing for profit class. So when you, uh-oh, Bo going to get at you. She said it should be 65 <laughs> Bones like nope, that's so pretty. It should be sixty five, but um, yeah, you can take out take my pricing for profit class I have going on at seven o'clock on Monday if you want to know more about pricing. But if you want to know more about this sublimation right here, you need to take this chick's class right here because she is really really amazing and right, uh, Shalita. Thank you. That's her starting price. Um, yes. Cause I I've seen some of her other mugs that are way more yeah. than 45. Oh, um, absolutely. absolutely. Let me see one blank, blank. And you also, you also have to take into account, you know, ink is everything. All ink is not created equal. Um, sometimes you have to test out different ink. Um, I'm in the process of testing ink and paper. So, like I said, I use three different kinds of paper to see the results, um, and I'm waiting for this ink to go out so I can try my next set of ink. Just because I love the colors popping. Yeah, off it's the so page. pretty. You're not. That's something that you're just not gonna see in the store. You're just not gonna walk into any store and just see it put together no. like that. That's the beauty of creativity, and you know, getting supplies from Michaels, of course. You know. And, yes. <laughs> and then, you know, creating your own thing. I, I love it. Um, they say you're a great teacher. Adrian wants to know, would you <laughs> use the mug wrap in the oven? Yes, you can. It's silicone. Okay. Yes, it is silicone. Anything silicone can be heated. Yep. yep. You broke it down and make it look really, really easy. Um, Kiana says, I must say her mugs are worth every penny. I have a coffee mug and my colors are still vibrant. Awesome. Is it easy to switch out ink brands? Um, it's not easy. Um, as far as I'm waiting until it's all the way down and then I start putting the other one in. Um, mm -hmm. There is a process where you can do a syringe and suck it up. And it, to me, that's just a hassle. Um, the ink I have in there now is not bad. It's just that I'm, I want to try a different one. Um, the printer, my sublimation printer is an Epson 15,000. So it has the tanks. It's an equal tank. Mm, so okay. once my tanks get down to like maybe five, 10%, I will put another brand in. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. But for else, now, it's fine. Okay. Did anyone else um, sublimate along with her that you like to share your, your, um, or we just getting information. Okay, Miss Lauren, let's see. Let's replace my light and see. Ooh, Look at that. Pretty. That's beautiful. That good. That is really pretty. Let's see the other side. Let's see the other side. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. I like that. Oh, she's put. She said, "Is that where they're ghosting?" The ghosting. Yeah, yeah. right there. The tape a little bit. wasn't good there. Yeah, it's an air in there. There's a little ear in there. But overall, that is beautiful. I love this design Absolutely and everything. Beautiful. Great, great, great. And let's see, did anybody else? I just want to make sure I got everybody. 
All right. Did you have anything, Shalene? You are amazing, girl. Amazing. Thank you. We learned a lot. Let me um put edge, replace you, put you up there. We learned a lot from you about the ghosting. You got to make sure you tape it right. You got to, you can do it in several different ways in the oven. You gave a, provided a lot of insight. Let her know in the chat that you like what she said and that you got to follow her. Make sure you follow her on social media so you can see the other stuff that she does and um, have fun and be creative and everything. Uh, Shalene, was there anything that you'd like to share before we get out of here? Yes, for anyone that is in the in Georgia, in the Lawrenceville area, I do have products in the MV Bath Bar, well, Bath Body Bar in Lawrenceville, downtown Lawrenceville. That's at 117 North Perry Street. So please give our store a try. There are some beautiful artisans that have some gorgeous, gorgeous items in the store, and I am one of them. So there are tumblers, there are mugs, there um, there's a plethora of things in the store. Uh, there's yes. Father's Day specials actually this weekend as well. So please go visit the store. Yes, go check the store out. Atlanta, what is it? One Seventeen South Perry North Street, Street, North Perry Street. Thank North you. Perry Street. Yep. In downtown Lawrenceville. It is an amazing store, right, Shalene? It is amazing. It really is. Full really of is. artists. All of the, actually, all the yeah. artists um, that's on the platform today are in the store, except for one, but hopefully she'll be in there soon. But they're all in there. And so you can make sure that you can check them out and uh, purchase some of their ready-made things. Shalene, you were amazing, girl. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the platform. You guys make sure you follow her, join her um, class so you can get your, your, your skill set up about this sublimation because she is extremely knowledgeable about it. And um, we are going to be up out of here and I'm gonna see you, let's replace the spotlight. I'm gonna see you in, at the top of the hour with Felicia Nolan of um, Deco Muse Boutique. And she is gonna be making them beautiful shoes with all the bling on it. And you know, we all about the bling, baby. We all about the bling. I will see you in a moment.